Welcome Libra. This message is for you for November 1st through the 15th. We're already in the fall season. I can't believe this year is already over. Um, how did 2022 go for you, Libra? Let's see. When I was meditating on your energy, I got the Knight of Cups energy. And I feel like this is a time for you to focus on you at the moment, Libra. I feel like you should show up for yourself in a way that you've never showed up before. Um, I'm feeling like you've kind of neglected your own needs for a while. And now it's time to take a look at those needs and uh, fulfill your own needs at the moment. <clears throat> now in the overall energy, you have the chariots. And what's crossing you is the page of wands. So with the chariot energy, I feel like this has changed. In the near past, you have the moon. Yeah, you may be coming out of a dark night. Um, but I, I feel like you are focusing on yourself, Libra. What's crossing you is a page of wands. These cards are just flying out now. Yeah, and you have the Eight of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, I feel like, Libra, I feel like you're moving. I feel like you're moving into a new situation. This may be a new city. This may be a new residence. Um, but I feel like you're moving. I feel like... Um, this could be just moving into a new situation, moving into new projects, starting new projects, because you also have the Ace of Swords right above you. Um, the Ace of Swords is crowning you. So I feel like this is new ideas. This is a new beginning to, um, new thought processes. Um, and I feel like with the moon in the near past, you may be coming out of, maybe a dark night coming from within yourself, you have you're making the changes that you need to make, I feel, in order to make this move. Um, the chariot is um, moving towards your destiny. Um, And with the Seven of Wands at your foundation, I feel like this is something that you had to defend. This is something that you were protecting. The Eight of Wands in the near future, this could be new ideas. What is that? Okay, Five of Pentacles. This may be that you're moving into a new job. This may be something that is more, or that this could be just projects. But you're moving quickly, that the ideas are coming to you quickly in this situation. What is your hopes and fears? <clears throat> your hopes and fears, and that was actually in reverse, but your hopes and fears is the high priestess. So I, I feel like <clears throat> you're coming out of stuck energy and you've already took the options. This is something that you've already done. Or it could be you just daydreaming about your options. But I feel like this is something that you had to sacrifice. This is something that you had to go within to find wisdom. You do have the hangman representing you. 
Um, I do see that your environment is the Four of Wands. So right now you have surrounding you as a pretty stable condition. So I, I feel like your home life or your work life is pretty stable at the moment. And um, I feel like you need to trust yourself more. You need to listen to your gut to move towards this situation. I hope this is making sense to you. Um, this is pretty. Yeah, there's the Knight of Cups. That's the energy that I was getting when, when I was meditating on your energy. So the Knight of Cups. Yeah, yeah I think you're, you are putting or you need to put more focus on yourself at this moment. You need to trust your gut. You have the Nine of Cups. So there's definitely <clears throat> there's definitely more fulfillment. This may be something that you have wished for. And you also have the sun on the bottom. So this is beautiful. This is beautiful, Libra. I feel a lot of contentment. I feel a lot of, of your wishes coming true at the moment. Um, then this may be something that you brought into fruition. Um, of course, wish upon your star. You have wishes being granted by the universe at the moment, and it's going to bring you happiness. Um, but of course, you need to follow your gut. Don't trust all the options that are thrown at you. All the options that are thrown at you aren't always good options. See, in this card, we have we have very happy. Um, options and we have more challenging options so I, I feel like uh, to really watch the options that you that, that are thrown at you at the moment <clears throat> Libra um, let's get some clarity on the situation I'm really interested to see what this seven of wands in this moon is okay the Queen of Cups. The Moon and the Queen of Cups. This may be a person. This may be a person who was coming in with, who was seemingly very nurturing, but you had to trust your intuition with this person. Maybe they were too clingy, too needy, too um, overbearing with the situation. And that's odd because the Queen of Cups, she's usually very nurturing. She's usually very supportive. But I'm feeling with this energy of the moon, I feel like they were too nurturing. They were too... Um, too much for you to handle, I think. <clears throat> and so you felt like you had to defend yourself in this situation. What is this Seven of Wands? The High Priestess. Yeah, you got the High Priestess twice. And actually, this one wanted to come in reverse as well. But uh, yeah, you have the High Priestess twice. So I think that you're not trusting in your intuition at the moment. Um, but you need to trust your gut in the situation. Um, not all people who are nurturing and supportive are there to support you for your needs. And like I said, I was getting this energy before I even started your reading that you need to focus on supporting yourself at the moment. Kind of come, um, come in for yourself like you've never done before. Or this might be kind of a challenging time. Even though the cards are really good, I still see you going through a challenge, but you need to trust yourself in this situation. What is this chariot and the page of wands here for? The king of swords. Okay. <clears throat> This may be a counterpart. Do you have love coming in, Libra? You have the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. This situation. 
situation. I see you have support. You have team. And you have you have I, what I want to say is you have more than one person in your head at the moment. Maybe you have someone who's giving you advice and they're kind of getting into your head about the situation. Is that this queen, this king of swords? Someone's trying to manipulate your thoughts, Libra. That's really what I'm getting. And I'm getting a lot of cards being thrown out now. <clears throat> what is this five of pinnacle, eight of wands? What is this energy, please? The Hermit. The Hermit energy. So this could be you. Taking time to find the answers to this. I, I feel like you've got the wisdom that you need and you have the eight of swords with the hangman. So I, I feel like you're reluctant to sacrifice something. You're reluctant to you're reluctant to take this different perspective. I feel like maybe someone's giving you a bad advice. Okay. With the Four of Wands, you have the Page of Swords. I feel like th this is new messages coming in. This is a message coming in that's going to give you more clarity on the situation. And two cards wanted to come in. You have the Four of Wands again with the Ace of Cups. So <clears throat> this is definitely a new beginning. I feel like if, if you're not following your intuition, if you're not following your gut, you do come to work to the right conclusion. You will um, make the right decision for your happiness and your growth. This could also be something that's going to bring you a lot more pleasure. Um, with the Seven of Cups, you have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like these options are going to be coming in more swiftly. These options are going to bring you out of your lack. I, I feel like you've got a lot of options coming in. This could be work or love. Maybe you're going to be starting something that... It's going to bring you a lot more pleasure and you're coming out of that. Yeah, you also have the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So I definitely feel like this is the universe trying to gift you something that you've been desiring for some time. And the Chariot period again okay and the three of cups so that this may be a get together I, 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 I see you going to celebrations this is going to be something that you're going to be celebrating about um but definitely I feel like the universe is letting you know you're moving in the right direction sorry I bumped the camera you are moving in the right direction you are exactly where you are destined to be. <clears throat> I think you need to keep trusting the universe. You have the high priestess twice. You have the chariot twice. You have the knight of wands. Um, let's see. Spirit of Gratitude, number 43. Number 43 might be very significant for you. Um, but, I, yeah, I think that Spirit is letting you know to be thankful 
for what's coming. They're gifting you something. And a healing, healing the heart. So yeah, you may be coming out of something. You also have uh, number 42, smoke and mirrors at the bottom of the deck. So I, I, I think you're, you're going through a time of healing. Um, and like I said, Libra, I think that this is a time when you should really stand up for yourself, when you should uh, step up for yourself in a most unique way. Um, I think spirit is letting you know that it's time to really focus on what your needs are and let the universe just take the reins at the moment. I think that's what it's saying because they've got your best, um, best needs. They're focusing on you. They're focusing on your needs. And they're, they're saying that you're moving in the right direction. Have faith and let the universe lead you. Okay, angels. What does the angels want to say to clarify this situation? Okay, you have Akasha. She's actually come out quite a bit in these readings. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Okay, so yeah, and I think Akasha is letting you know. Yeah, your angels are letting you know that this is a time to focus on yourself um, as well as others in your spiritual journey. Uh, maybe meditation or um, would be good for you at the moment. And you have Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, you have Opal. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well and cared for by God and the angels. Yes, yeah, so you definitely have protection right now. The angels are letting you know that, that you have protection and guidance. Um, trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Okay, and Libra, this message is for you. <clears throat> if this message has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell for further clarity. Um, in this situation, Please take a look at your sun, moon, and rising signs if I have those uploaded. And many blessings to you. Love and light, Libra.